Is there a bone there? Yeah. Unless you're not doing it. Okay, I can rest this one. Sweet! But one of the people in the crew uh, sat down on the side of this butte and peeled up a slab, looked at it, peeled up a second slab, and he had a, an articulated, complete articulated fish skeleton. And we thought with that kind of luck within a matter of just moments uh, that this would be a fantastic fish site. Uh, the fish diversity that we've seen out of here, we're probably up to about 15 different kinds of fish, and we haven't even worked here but uh, two and a half weeks. Uh, so it's it's a pretty exciting sight. We're gonna bring that back. Sweet. We're currently working on getting out a large slab uh, that's uh, filled with fish, and there must be oh nine, ten fish sticking out of the edge of this slab, and yet there are other ones in the middle. So we're very curious about what's in this slab, what these fish look like, uh, who they're most closely related to. So it's a uh, pretty exciting time. The late Cretaceous produces very few uh, fossil localities with articulated fish in them. Um, I can count probably about a half dozen articulated fish uh, from freshwater uh, localities in North America off the top of my head. Uh, so it's, it's uh, extremely rare that we should find any at all and this site produces, as I said earlier, many different kinds of taxes. So. Uh, we're really quite excited about what it's going to produce and where uh, it's going to take our research over the next decade or so. Uh, many of these fish are, have never been seen before, are only known from isolated elements, and are going to have profound impacts on uh, our understandings of the interrelationships of the various groups they're associated with. It's sweet, I'm telling you. It's just so sweet.